Hello and welcome to Startup Hack. Today we are going to discuss about safe.net feature flags with feature toggle. Feature toggle is a very small and dedicated library dedicated to a variety of flexible feature toggle variations. In feature toggle you define a toggleable feature as a class either extending from a feature toggle class such as simple feature toggle or the i feature toggle interface. So let's get started. So today's agenda is number one, the design of feature toggle. Number two, different types of feature toggles. So let's dig in. Do you want to earn $100,000 a year? Do you want to become a software developer within just three months? With our amazing course and awesome tutors, you never have to worry about getting stuck. We help students to learn skills that companies want to hire. We are Startup Hack. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So let's get started. So a simple feature definition would look like this. This feature can be checked like this. This code will look for an entry in the application's configuration file appsettings.djson, web.config or app.config. Depending on what type of application is running and parse that value as a boolean to determine if feature enabled returns true or false. A sample .NET Core app settings.json file with a feature flag is this. Alright, let's move towards the first topic, the design of feature toggle. Empty or marker classes and instantiating an object just to check a property on it and throw it away. How could this be a good thing? Well, it turns out that the reason the code looks like this is that Jason Roberts intentionally designed feature toggle to make it hard to make common mistakes associated with feature flags. Because feature toggles will throw exceptions if the configuration settings associated with the toggle doesn't exist. This helps you catch a bad application configurations instead of accidentally leaving features offline because a config change never got ported to a new environment. Additionally, since feature toggle use class names to look up configuration settings, there are no string lurking in code that might have typos causing the wrong configuration settings to be checked. This reduces some risk common with other feature flag libraries and that added degree of safety helps code quality and fights environment specific bugs. If the code is giving you issues, it can be simplified via static property like the following. By using static getter is feature enabled, calling code no longer has to create an instance of the feature class and the code reads a lot more simply. Additionally, you no longer have an empty class due to the static property and instance field. Okay now, the next topic is different type of feature toggles. Feature toggle is also designed to be flexible and offer both extensibly via subclassing or using the i feature toggle interface. For example, I could write an implementation that is only active on weekends by writing this code. I'm not sure why you had want this type of a feature toggle, but if you can use a framework to create something simple like this, it can be definitely used to create more advanced things. The good news is that you don't need to create more advanced things. Feature toggle ships with a number of built-in implementations. So number one will be simple feature toggle. The example we have worked with up until this point, it reads value from a configuration file. Enabled on or after date feature toggle, a feature that is only available once a date has been reached. This can be used as a go live date. Enable on or before date feature toggle, a feature that is only available before a date has been reached. This can be used as a retirement date. Enable between dates feature toggle, a feature that is only available between two dates. Enable on days of week feature toggle, a feature that is only available on certain days of a week. Always on feature toggle designates a feature that is that will always be activated no matter what. This can be used to migrate away from configuration management without ripping out of the class entirely. 
always off feature toggle similar to always on feature toggle but will never be active http json feature toggle this makes a http get request to location confirmed configured in the features configuration file and expects a result like enable true then parses that enable value to determine if the feature is enabled bear in mind that is this will be synchronous swap call and prone to errors due to network internet and firewall issues SQL feature toggle using this you would define both the connection string in your configuration as well as SQL query that returns a single boolean value this values then return value for whether the feature is enabled or not again this is a synchronous operation that is prone to more errors than many of other implementations enable on or after assembly version where toggle is defined toggle checks the current assembly version against one defined the configuration file and activates the feature if the configured version has arrived this can be used for planning features to go live with major release numbers without knowing the date those release will ship feature toggle obviously well equipped to deal with most basic needs and simple and extensible enough to be able to adapt to any custom needs you encounter so thank you for watching this video i hope you learned the concept of how to deal with feature toggle so don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for latest update to joining our course you can simply go to our website called startuphack.com/start-now thank you